Hello! Welcome to my channel, The Wedding Secret. Um, yeah, my name is Simone and I'm your wedding coach. I am wedding planner Simone in many years and I will let you know everything you need to know about weddings and your wedding planning. Um, yeah, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the catering. Um, the catering, I refer food and beverage. Meals, drinks, cocktails, canapes, buffet style, stations. Um, there are so many different options and um, I also don't want to go too much <laughs> into the detail now what is better for a wedding because in Spain you say para gustos los colores. There are so many different options and uh, everything fits for somebody who really likes it. So it, that means if you have a classic wedding you might want to have seated uh, dinner style if you want to have like a mingling party you may might have some stations i don't want to go now too much into the whole let's say yeah what you should offer to your guests and um, i want to go more into the whole process of the selection of the caterer and and what actually is supplied by a caterer um, because it's not only food and beverage, it's also a lot and nowadays with internet, Instagram, the visual look of food, but also the presentation, the bars, the table, the chairs, it's so important, it's already part of the decoration, it's part of the whole style. So let's start from the beginning. Very important to have food and drinks on your wedding day. Um, if you book the venue, I always say the same then um, you have to ask the first thing is if you are, let's say, um, flexible in choosing your caterer or if they offer already like a fix, let's say, a choice of caterer where you can choose from or they work with somebody in exclusivity or if they have their own kitchen. That means that, for example, if you go to the big chains, hotel chains, they might have their own banqueting uh, area or if you go take a hotel in exclusivity, a small boutique hotel. They also have their own uh, wedding, uh, their own kitchen, <laughs> their own wedding. And um, that means when it comes to choosing the venue, it is already directly, let's say, connected with the catering offer. If you're lucky and you can choose whatever you want, you can choose the caterer you want, then you have like the whole choice. You can get different options, different offers, and then you choose the one what you like most. But if not, then before booking the venue, go already through the offer. If this is more or less that what you like, what you have in mind, because sometimes um, you want to have some really relaxed style and the hotel is a little bit more stiff and perhaps they don't do like a family style tapas dinner, you know? Normally in general, in general, let's say caterers are quite uh, flexible uh, nowadays already and they can different food options, food styles, but uh, also in terms of budget, it's always good to check the whole food and beverage offer of the venue before. Then, one thing is um, the food and drinks itself. The other thing is that um, the material, that means that um, your guests have to sit somewhere, your guests have to drink from a glass. Um, normally, this is already included in the offer. If you go to a catering company, to a venue that offers food and drinks, normally the material, although it's standard, you have to check how the look is of this material, is already included. That means that everything you need that your guests can eat, drink and sit down at the dinner and at the aperitif is included. You have to go very much into details and in the last years I have to say that this has become like a challenge because um, I think looks uh, are getting more and more important and guests and the couples want to, let's say, impress their guests more and more. So very often the standard material is not enough. That means perhaps you don't like this rustic bar. You want to have like a sophisticated white golden mirror bar or something like this. So things like that you have to add on later. Another thing is very important. What I want to tell you is don't get blinded by a catering folder or let's say okay cool for 100 people uh, the menu price is 150 or whatever euros dollars per head because this is just let's say half <laughs> I don't want to say half of the whole price 
but check first if there is a minimum of people you have to have to get this price because if you have 50 guests how much is the price per head this is one thing and there is another very important part and these packages of course they are created to get an idea of what you get for which time but normally your wedding day might be longer so look really closely to the to the folder of the caterer for example it says one hour aperitif with eight canapés, two and a half hours dinner, let's say three course seated menu with drinks, three hour open bar, a small midnight snack. This is perfect. If this is enough time, then you can count with 150 or whatever uh, the number of, of the cost is per head. And this is then realistic. But think that all the changes you do, all the things you add, you want to add some cocktails, you want to add uh, another half an hour for the aperitif, you want to have two more hours of open bar, or you have the ceremony there, you need a welcome drink before. All these things add up. So this 150 euros, I, I take it now as a general number, is not the final price. And you normally do also menu tasting in the end of the day you just know 100% after the menu tasting how much the whole thing will cost. So in the end of the day, the final numbers normally you have to give to the caterer about two weeks before uh, the real wedding. But you have to check that within the contract. You will get a contract about the whole food and beverage items. It's very important to uh, read that um, carefully because um, there might also be in some clauses, uh, like for example, if the whole number drops, for example, less more than 20% of the estimated initial number, then the price per head can go up. So there are a few um, things you really have to take care of. The catering and food and beverage is a big part of the budget. So it really makes sense to, to study this really closely and to have a good look on that. So yeah, bye bye.